if we're asked to find the factors of 18, what we're being asked to do is to find all the numbers that will divide into 18 without any remainder. And to do that, we're literally going to work systematically through the numbers to see which of them will go into 18 with no remainder. But we will use one quick little idea just to make sure that we don't spend too long on this. So let's start off. We want to check out which numbers divide into 18 with no remainder. So we're going to start right at the beginning and ask ourselves, does 1 go into 18 with no remainder? Well, obviously, 1 divides into anything with no remainder. So 1 is a factor. But to help ourselves, we are also going to put down any factor occurs with a partner. Because 1 times by 18 gives me 18. So the factor 1 has a partner factor 18. So when we start writing down the factors of 18, we are going to say we have 1 as well as 18. We then go to the next number along and we say is 2 a factor of 18? Does 2 divide into 18 with no remainder? Well, yes, it does. If we take 2 and we divide it into 18, we get the answer of 9, which obviously tells us that 9 is also a factor. It's the partner, right? Because then 9 divides into 18, right, with no remainder, because 9 divided into 18 gives us 2. We then go to our next number along, which is 3. Does 3 divide into 18 with no remainder? Well, yes it does, because 3 multiplied by 6 gives me 18. So 3 is a factor, and it has a partner factor, which is 6. So 6 is also a factor. I then go to the next number along, and I look at 4. Does 4 divide into 18 with no remainder? Nope. So 4 is not a factor. Go to the next number, 5. Does 5 divide into 18 with no remainder? Nope, so 5 is not a factor. Next number along, 6. Oh, hang on a moment. I've already got 6 in my list. And as soon as I start to repeat myself, I know I've got all the factors. So the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Finished. Okay, let's find all the factors of 54. I want you to do it, and you're going to do it by in the same way, right, as we've just done the other one, which you start with 1, and you check if it's a factor, and you find its partner factor. Then you go to 2, finding its partner factor as well, 3, etc., until you've got all the factors. Pause the video now and see if you can find all the factors of 54. All right, let's go through that together. First one is 1. Is it a factor? Well, yes, it always is, because 1 divides into 54, and 1 its partner factor is 54, because 1 times 54 is 54. The next number to check is 2. Does it go into 54? Well, obviously it will. 54 is an even number, so 2 must go into it. To find its partner number, well, we're asking ourselves 2 multiplied by what will give us 54. The easy way to get that is just to divide 2 into 54. We say 2 goes into 5 twice, remainder 1. 2 goes into 14 seven times, and so our partner is 27. Next, we check 3. Does that go into 54? Well, this one I'm actually going to check, right? I'm going to say 3 goes into 5, yes, once, and remainder 2. 3 goes into 24. It goes into 24 eight times, and so yes, 3 does go into 54 with no remainder, and the partner number is, partner factor is 18. The next number I need to try is 4. Let's see if 4 works. Well, 
If I try 4 going into 54, let's just make myself some space to be able to do that. Okay, got some space now. So I'm going to try 4 into 54. 4 goes into 5 once, remainder 1. Does 4 go into 14? Nah, not without a remainder. So we know that 4 doesn't go into 54 with no remainder, so it's not. Does 5 go into 54? Well, we should know that it can't, right? Because our multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It always ends in a 0 or a 5. So 54 ending in a 4 cannot be a multiple of 5. So 5 isn't a factor. What about 6? Now here you can see why it's important to know your times tables really well. 6 is a factor because we know that 6 times 9 is 54. So we've got 6 and its partner factor, 9. Does 7 go into 54? No, because if you think of your 7 times table, you've got 7 7s are 49, 7 8s are 56. So 54 is not some multiple of 7. Uh, and then the next number is 8. Does 8 go into 54? Well, again, you've got to think of our 8 times table around that 50 area. Well, uh, I know 8 6s are 48, and I know 8 7s are 56, so uh -uh, I'm not going to get 54 out of 8. Okay, what about 9? Oh, hang on a moment. I've already got 9 in my list, and so I have all my factors. The factors of 54 I can list are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54.